so there's a what you're seeing and there's a good healthy response overall yeah. to this and in, in moving forward and dealing with the grief right what can i do and another thing that, that i i see often in folks is uh is how they may, they're maintaining a sense of humor hmm. not about the person that died but uh, but maybe if they're talking about the person and the life of the person and right. uh we, they find themselves laughing about the person, uh, mm. discovering joy in memories, you know? Mm. Uh, and, uh, and I think that humor elevates a situation quite profoundly for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So um, it lightens the heaviness of the circumstances beautifully. So when I see humor coming forth, you know, in a conversation that's very heavy and dark, and I, again, I, it, it uh, brings me a sense of uh, hope that this person will be able to find a way here with using incorporating creativity and uh, humor and some levity. Uh, so that, that's another sign for me, an indicator of healing and health. Yeah, I, I think, well, I think a lot of people don't see humor as a part of the whole process, but I think like you're saying, it is a healthy response. It's not a negative thing to be jovial about certain situations or about the person themselves, the life they live, the conversations you've had in the past. So I think you can focus on that during your grief and find some light in the midst of the darkness. Absolutely. You know, as someone who is a helping person, uh, we kind of, I think I, speaking for myself, I sometimes in conversation am so amazed at the, the, the ability to maneuver in that in that regard, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, tell a joke to right. a, someone in grief. But I, when they tell me a joke, when they say something funny, that we laugh together, it's it's just an awareness that we have a capacity to to uh, to maneuver health in a healthy fashion. Right. It's a gift to everybody. Yes, it is. Um, 